Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for March 10th, 2022. Yesterday, we had quite a rally. We gapped up and continued to push up throughout the day, but unfortunately, we did it on a very low volume day, which doesn't provide us an awful lot of confidence of some follow through. Which I and I think it was largely short covering yesterday. They were squeezing out those short traders um, yesterday. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today in this very, very uncertain volatile market. Let's take a look at our chart here on the diamonds. Clearly not a whole lot changed yesterday, even though we had a substantial point rise in the market. You'll want to notice that we kind of finished the day um, right in here along some price resistance in the chart and left a bit of an uncertain spinning top doji candle there on uh, yesterday's price move and also notice that we are still in a downtrend here on the chart unfortunately we're getting another reversal overnight the bears are coming back in with the worries about a cpi number coming out today and um, our gas prices are continuing to rise even though we saw brent crude pulling back yesterday national average gas price went from 417 a gallon to 431 a gallon um, average diesel price five dollars a gallon and there are places in california that are threatening eight dollar a gas gallon uh, per gallon already this is getting ugly and um, it will have negative impacts on the consumer so that cpi number today will be kind of interesting so if those bulls can find some reason to get a hold and and fight back uh, today notice we'll have this price resistance in the chart still there that we're going to have to deal with and of course that downtrend if those bulls decide that they want to push on higher if those bears however take over and push back down we we'll want to be watching these lows down in here whether we can push down through that low again or um, even push down into that level of the chart. Obviously, downtrend still in play, and our technicals in these charts didn't improve at all yesterday. Um, so, no, nothing really changed except uh, squeezing out some short traders maybe yesterday. Let's take a look at our um, SPY. Now, our SPY largely the same. We rallied up sharply, um, bumped our head against some price resistance in the chart but that is reversing here on the day we didn't change the trend overall um, but it was nice to have that little relief in um, selling now if the bulls can find some reason to be inspired again we might push back up and see if we can test that resistance here in that chart or maybe even the downtrend but if those bears come back around um, our next support is here um, substantially lower and then if that fails we'll be looking into that low right there so pretty ugly setup for the day let's take a look um, once again our technicals here um, getting pretty ugly um, we're rapidly dropping that 50-day moving average and um, it is it's entirely possible as quickly as it's dropping it might even drop down through that 200 day by tomorrow the way it's looking um, certainly early next week so watch that close then let's take a look at our QQQ. Our NASDAQ rallied up sharply yesterday, and I think there was quite a little bit of hope that big tech was going to kind of dominate and, and get things going here. But at the end of the day, you'll notice that, well, nothing really was changed. We pushed up into some price resistance, um, couldn't quite make it up through there. Our downtrend remains intact. So once again, if those bulls find reason for some encouragement to move higher watch those price resistance levels as we push up and if those bears get feisty and continue to push we'll want to look at these levels down here those are our support levels that we have in the chart and unfortunately they're not very strong support
support levels. So um, if those bears were to really um, come at it hard, it could be a rough day. But you never know. And our technicals here are pretty dismal as well. If we take a look at our IWM, IWM has been, really been kind of remarkable how um, strong it is held up um, despite the selling in the overall um, indexes. But you can see right in here we've pushed up. We're nearing that downtrend resistance in the Russell. And we had this little higher low that was created in here. And we've kind of been trying to hold on to a little bit of price support. But we still have to keep in mind there's significant levels of price resistance above and then a year's worth of price resistance above that. So a long ways from being bullish. And um, if we um, can see those bulls re-engage or push back up, we'll want to be watching these resistance and downtrend areas in the chart for that potential failure. And if the bears get a hold, well, um, these um, support areas down here is where we're likely going to go for a test. Again, very, very dismal on our uh, technical patterns here and um, in the chart. And you can see that 50 day moving average declining pretty sharply to place a cap over the top of the Russell. Let's take a look at our um, VIX. Now, our VIX yesterday, um, surprisingly, we, we moved up 800 points, you know, at one point of the day. And um, our VIX barely pulled back. Um, kind of shows that it was really more of an engineered move by the institutions. Volume was extremely light. Um, and the engineered move was just nothing more to squeeze out the, the, the weak hands of short trading. Um, those that were held short. And our VIX ended up holding up above 32 handles here on the day. Um, obviously, it was a nice relief to see, but it didn't really improve anything technically. And um, the gap down this morning, um, I suspect, will be spiking back up. And as I mentioned before, guys, we're going to have to watch this pretty closely because there is that possibility that when we push up in here, there is a massive amount of volatility products out there in the market. And if we were to spike up into these areas up in here, we could certainly see those volatility products start to unlever and that could create some substantial selling. And, and it's different than it, it's ever been before. We've never had this many volatility products on the market and they are heavily traded. So we'll want to watch that close. Then um, let's take a look at our T2122. Now, unfortunately, our T2122 in that pop yesterday, we rallied substantially. And um, at one point in the day, early on in the day, we were up here in the bearish reversal zone um, on that in just that one day move. Now we did pull back by the end of the day, um, as you can see here in our T2122. But what this really tells us is we've elevated quite a bit. And with the gap down that we're seeing this morning, what we've really done is open up a pretty substantial move to the downside if uh, those bears find that reason to engage. But once again, if those bulls can come back in, if they find something in the data today to be really bullish about, then we still have um, room to the upside here on our T2122. That, that downside area though is widened substantially. And with the big gap that we're looking, um, uh, reversal gap overnight to the downside, we'll probably be back down here toward that mid range um, when the market opens today. So wild, wild price action market. And you can just see how hard this is to deal with for most folks. You know, we're just shooting up, shooting down, shooting up, shooting down, shooting up, shooting down. And we're continuing in that pattern, unfortunately, with all of this uncertainty in the market, creating very, very jittery markets, very uncomfortable traders. So just stay on your toes and be prepared for the next um, big price gyration that's likely around the corner. Let's take a look at our T2108. T2108 certainly had a pretty good day yesterday holding up 
And I will tell you that I've been kind of impressed here in T2108 that we haven't made new lows with that, all that selling that we saw early in the week. We didn't make new lows in T2108. So that is showing that there is a little bit of effort by those bulls to stiffen up a here and try to hold on to some of these prices. About 36, 37% of our stocks holding above the 40 day moving average, but we are still in a pretty ugly uh, downtrend here in that chart. And if we take a look at our T2107, we're going to see very much the same thing. T2107, we held up a little bit better, um, pushed back up 30% of our stocks above the 200-day moving average, ugly downtrend, and we at least haven't broken these lows. So bulls are trying to trying to hold on a little bit stronger. Now our T2101, uh, you know, yesterday, and I think it was largely because it was pretty much an engineered move by the institutions to squeeze out short traders and there really wasn't a whole lot of buying going on. Our T2101 stayed very flat, really didn't do much of anything. And unfortunately, we're still down here in these lower areas of T2101, which suggests a big potential move, I think, in the market, whether it be up or down. Yesterday, we had that big move but there was no volume in it. So we didn't get any uh, major action here in T2101. If we were to get a an ugly number in that CPI today and this and the market drops hard, if that volume comes in, then that's where we can get that substantial spike. Now, I can't tell you that's what's going to happen. I'm just saying, I think we're set up for something big. We'll just have to hold our breath and wait for that uh, to display itself in the charts. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Now, our economic calendar, this is what I've been talking about this morning, and I've talked about it all week. And that's going to be that CPI number today. With rising fuel prices, rising commodity prices, it's going to be hard to see this not go up. However, the CPI is a lagging indicator or lagging number. So the recent rally that we've seen in commodities and fuel won't be built into this price. However, consensus is looking for that number to go higher. And I think it may even be higher than what the consensus estimates are. So that possibility that we can get a little bit of an inflation shock here today does seem likely and you want to be prepared for that. Now, if it comes in better than expected, we could certainly see those bulls re-engage and just fire this up and continue to push up trying to test those resistance levels in the chart. Uh, Keep your fingers crossed um, because I'm just not sure um, that's going to be the case today, but anything is possible. And then we're gonna have those jobless claims. That'll be interesting today. Um, uh, yeah, jobless claims are uh, much more immediate and um, we've heard of substantial layoffs happening in the mortgage industry. Um, if that starts to spread through other areas because of these economic pressures in the market, that'll be interesting to watch this morning as well here before the bell. After that, we've got a natural gas report. We're going to hear from the Treasury, uh, Treasury statement and the Fed balance sheet, which we have largely just ignored here for a long, long time, so no particular worries there. Um, tomorrow morning, we're going to have that consumer sentiment number and consumer sentiment has been in a substantial decline and it would be really difficult for me to imagine that sentiment has improved with fuel prices rising the way they are so could be more pain and pressure um, going into Friday. So let's watch carefully and plan carefully as you move forward in your trading. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar today. Now our earnings calendar, we have a lot of uh, uh, stocks being listed on the earnings calendar, but um, a tremendous number of them are unconfirmed reports. So although we have over 250 companies listed on the calendar, uh, there are not that many notables here for today. Um, let's take a look at a few of those. Probably one of the biggest notables is going to be Oracle. Um, Oracle will be reporting um, after the bell today, so keep an eye on that. And the other one that I think um, is kind of a you know market darling right now would be Rivian um, reporting today. Um, so kind of watch that. A lot of, lot of attention given to these EV vehicles um, 
um, but they've been in some pretty serious declines, so keep an eye on that. We're also going to hear from AG. We know silver, gold, mining has been pretty strong here recently. Um, this will be an interesting report today. We're going to hear from JD, whoops, JD.com, JD.com. This morning looks like they have disappointed and um, heading lower here. Well, I think that's what it is. Um, it's possible it could just be the bearishness of the day pushing it down. I haven't seen that report, but watch that closely. We have obviously been um, failing price support levels in this chart and that doesn't look encouraging here for uh, JD.com. Um, we're going to hear from um, Ulta today. Keep an eye on Ulta. This has also run into some selling here as you can see and we've got substantial price resistance above. We've got some support below as well so this could be an interesting um, report today in that chart. Um, last but not least um, WPM will be um, reporting. Let's keep an eye on that. Gold again um, been rallying strongly. Gold and silver and silver miners um, um, uh, and gold miners rallying substantially. So watch that close. Now if you want to catch the full list of notables um, you might want to click that link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can get that full list. And um, so how about we take a look at some stocks that are setting up for today. But before we do that, just really quickly, guys, if you could do me that favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it uh, pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And please keep in mind, guys, that I try not to put any kind of prediction into these charts. Um, I want to look at the technicals of the chart and try to determine how I might want to approach the market today without the idea of prediction. And if you find those um, that kind of effort to be helpful in your planning for the day, if you could please also click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, it helps the channel to continue to grow. And thank you so much for everyone who does do that. And also just a huge shout out and thank you for everyone who um, supports the channel through Buy Me A Coffee. I do truly appreciate it. Now this afternoon, if time allows, I'm going to try to do a live um, a live event on YouTube and just it'll be just more of a test. Don't expect any great shakes out of it, just more of a test. So watch for that if you see um, right way options pop up as a live uh, feed, maybe jump over there and help me do that testing. I would really, really appreciate it. And hopefully you'll be um, seeing a lot more of that coming in the future. Let's take a look at um, some of these stocks setting up and keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. When you take a look at um, some of these charts, please understand anything is possible today and there's a lot of work that needs to be done for many of these charts to see much of an improvement. Let's take a look at a couple. SQ is, is one I've been kind of keeping an eye on. You see I placed a price alert here and I was hoping that this was going to hold that downtrend rally and consolidate in here and move on higher. That's that tried and true pattern that I like to find. But unfortunately that didn't occur. As a matter of fact, what we did is we went back and tested that downtrend as support and so far we're bouncing off of that. So if we can get back up in here and hold, I would still be watching for that next upside opportunity. So watch that closely. I gotta tell you, um, pay systems have been struggling a lot and that could continue. So this may not hold that level, but it's worth keeping an eye on here because of the pattern um, setting up um, in the chart. I think we also, we're gonna have to guys, we're gonna have to be looking at um, some of these miners, minor stocks. Um, Newmont Mining had a little bit of resting pullback with a gap down yesterday, but we're right back on the gas pedal here, pushing it up to the upside. Now keep in mind it's a little bit stretched out. This may need to be uh, need a little bit more rest out here toward its trend. So you may not have to rush to it, but I got to tell you it looks to me like gold and silver are going to continue to move on higher with this uncertainty in the market. So keep a close eye on that if if we rest out here and that opportunity to move on up. You might want to take a look at like Barry Gold or A um, G O L D um, A Y. 
um, oops, a U, sorry, a U, um, uh, moving up nicely, um, a U Y. Um, has that nice potential here in the chart. So there's quite a few of those going on. And you know, you really have to um, also just keep gold and silver kind of um, as, as that potential because um, gapping down um, here recently, we were kind of stretched out here in the short term and we, we may still be a little bit stretched out, but watch um, if this rests out into this area here for that next upside opportunity. And I'm going to put um, um, silver um, in that uh, same category, rallying up, holding in on that trend and breaking through some of these big resistance levels in the chart. And seemingly, uh, at least at this point, it looks like they're going to hold those levels. So watch closely in um, anything in those pressure metals. Take a look at um, copper. Copper also had a pretty substantial uh, pullback here in the chart. It needed some rest, but you'll notice we're moving up in this trend, trying to move on higher, keep an eye on copper. There is that possibility this may have to rest a little bit longer out here toward that trend, but keep an eye on it. This is a, sub, a substantial breakout in copper, showing lots of strength as these commodity prices continue to just push up, push up, push up, push up. Now, other places, uh, take a look at the food area, guys. We've had some really remarkable moves in um, some of these food areas. Now, Kroger being a grocer, they kind of have a, a tough challenge of passing on these higher prices to, to consumers. But notice we just had a zooming rally here in Kroger. So this resting pullback in here could set up an opportunity for the next upside move. Now you got to be careful because this was just such a zooming upside move. This may have to rest a while, but keep an eye on that. Other places that you can look, take a look at like KHC. KHC has pulled back really strongly here in the last three days, but let's watch and see if it can hold on to some support levels in the chart. We're seeing a lot of these um, um, companies gyrating around substantially because they're raising their prices. They have to raise their prices. That's creating some negative feelings on them, but yet at the same time, they're making a lot of money um, because everybody's going to need food. So keep a close eye on that. And then anything in that ag related area, take a look at um, um, Mosaic. Mosaic had a sell off yesterday, gap down. Um, but boy, it reversed right back up and continues higher. Keep an eye on Mosaic. Um, any rest or consolidation out here seems to me like it would set up an opportunity. You can take a look at CF industry is looking good. You can take in a look at anything um, in that commodity sector, the DBC commodity ETF. Big, strong whipsaw yesterday, pulling back on that. And this is really extended, so possibly some more rest coming in here. But I really don't see commodity prices um, coming down a lot uh, considering um, fuel price um, areas in the chart. Now yesterday we saw Brent crude pulling back substantially with some selling, but if you take a look at um, our energy sector, um, XLE, you saw that it pulled back and just immediately buyers started to come back in, pushing that up. So a lot of charts out there showing bullishness. You could take a look at like um, Devon, Devon looking strong here, holding up EOG, um, bouncing higher um, after pushing down. So there's a lot in that energy sector that's looking very, very good. An area that you might want to start looking for some short trades. We had a substantial rally yesterday in the financials. And I got to tell you, there's nothing about this chart that's bullish. Um, we're well below our 50 day and 200 day moving averages here on the financials. And as the pressure continues to build here on these big banks, let's watch this. This big rally back into price resistance on the financials doesn't really bode well, um, at least at this point. Um, and I got to tell you, I've never really seen 
uh, I've never really experienced a very bullish market with financials showing this kind of weakness. So watch that carefully. We rallied up toward that resistance area. That there is that potential. We could still see some shorting here in these charts and some failure patterns occurring um, in, in those charts. So watch that close. So with that, everyone, there's quite a few um, places for you to look for some potential trades. I'm going to warn you to be very, very careful. It may be wise to sit on the sidelines if you're not comfortable with these kind of big price gyrations. Um, it's a difficult market, no doubt about it. So protect yourself. Um, you know, put your feet up, pop some cup popcorn and relax a little bit. Let let this volatility play out while you're protecting your capital. All right, guys, I wish you all of the best. Have an awesome, awesome day. And we'll see you right back here for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. I wish you all the best. Everyone.